Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and welcome back to another Foundation Friday. If you are new to my channel, I do review new makeup foundations on Friday and curly hair product videos on Sunday. So hit that subscribe button so you could join the family and not miss any more videos. Now today I'm going to be reviewing the Stila Stay All Day Foundation, and I literally bought this just because it looked cute. I was at Sephora and I noticed that this packaging was very unique and then I realized there's concealer built in on the top of the foundation. Genius! So here's the concealer again, right on top, has a little mirror so you can fix yourself whenever you need to and then you take this off foundation. So the cool part is it has a pump, but not your average pump. So what you do is you just hold down on the edges and you push it down and the foundation comes up. So that seems like a very cool, unique way to dispense our foundation. You could just swipe it off with your finger very easily. You could use a brush, you could use a beauty blender, whatever. But what I have noticed, as you will see in this video, it might pump out more than you want it to. So although it looks cool, we'll see how practical it is when it comes to being wasteful. I bought the Stila foundation from Sephora. It was $40 and it has one fluid ounce, just like every other foundation I've ever reviewed. And there are 16 colors to choose from, only two being darker than my skin tone. Now, when I was at Sephora, I literally laughed out loud when the girl came up to me and asked if I needed any help being color matched. Then I looked at the three brown options, one being way too dark for me and thought, well, I've already narrowed it down to two, so uh, pretty sure I can figure it out, thanks. Without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this foundation. So I'm gonna grab this large foundation concealer combo, starting with the concealer at this cute little top, and I'm grabbing a no-named brush, but it's like flat and stuff, you know? And we're just going to, ooh, that's creamier than I thought. All right, this is gonna be my first color test. It looks kind of dark. Oh, it's not at all. So let me just conceal you know, my entire face. All of the scars, blemishes, flaws. Interesting. All right, now I wanna get to the fun part of this foundation. So, has a little squeeze top, I'm gonna push down on the pump. And one more. And there's my foundation. I will also be using a damp beauty blender, so I'm just gonna scrape it off of here. Interesting. And dab around. Cool. I did not know how this color was gonna work. But it's not bad. Whoa. I just did another pump, but that was like a legit pump. That might be too much. Hmm. So that is one thing to keep in mind when you do pump, you don't really have any control of how much you're going to pump out. So although I really thought it was a cool idea, it might be wasting product. So like most of my foundations that I tried, a lot of them kind of have like an orangey yellow undertone. I would say this one does too, and I saw a lot of reviews where girls said that the undertone was too yellow for them. But I think it's working for my skin right now. Let's just wait and see if it oxidizes at all. According to the box, it says that it is a lightweight foundation that is medium to full coverage. I don't know if I'd call it lightweight because it is pretty creamy, but it definitely is medium to full coverage. So now I'm gonna finish the rest of my face. And we're back. All right, let me get a good look at myself. Um, I'm definitely very matte right now. It had some good coverage. The color does have like a yellowish kind of undertone. So that can work for me. That's kind of like how all my foundations are, but it's not like a direct match to my actual skin tone. I don't know. Nothing's really blowing me away just yet, but what I will be impressed with is if it does last all day. I mean, the packaging is all cute, fine, and dandy, but what we really wanna know is how long is it going to last? It's claiming 12 hours. I can't stay up for 12 hours, but I will stay up to at least midnight and show you what eight hours of wear looks like. I do have very oily skin, so that's going to be something that it will be probably fighting with, but let's see how I look at the end of the day. So this foundation went on at 4 p.m. I will come back at midnight and we'll see how well it did. And I'm back, it is now midnight. So I've had on this foundation for a total of eight 
hours. It claims to be all day, but I want to go to sleep. So this is where we are. And as you can see, I'm really not that shiny. This did a very good job. I am pretty surprised. I'm only shiny where I always get shiny right around here and on my forehead. But all this part right here is very matte. I would say that maybe a little bit of my coverage started to go away on my cheeks. You start to see a little bit of my blemishes kind of coming through. But shine wise, it did a really good job at keeping me matte. So let me go ahead and do my oil absorbing sheet test. These are by Walgreens. There's a million different brands, try whatever you want. But if you have oily skin, you need these in your life. So all you do is place them and press. And if the foundation is good, only the oil should come out and not the makeup. So here is all the oil and a lot of the makeup actually came off. So this probably is not transfer proof, but yeah, I think this is like majority makeup on here. But now that I did blot, I look very matte again. So overall concluding thoughts, I really do think that this packaging is the most unique packaging of foundation that I've ever reviewed. I like that it comes with concealer, the pump up is pretty cute, but I might be wasting product in the end. But I wanna know what you think, so let me know if you have tried the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer, and let me know how well it worked for your skin. Before you go, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, so hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And make sure that you become my friend on all social media, on Twitter, and Instagram and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I just so happen to be launching a giveaway very, very soon. So make sure you follow me so you know exactly when I'm launching it and what those prizes are going to be. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.